Can a Christian be depressed? I've been asked that question many times. Just because our sins are forgiven doesn't mean that we're no longer human. We still have moods and emotions, and they're important. Our moods can enhance or destroy relationships. How do we know if our moods are normal? That's a good question. We have no way to measure moods, so we can't test to see if a person is normal. Because I work with mood disorders every day, I've had to create my own definition of normal mood. Just compare yourself to this definition and see if you're normal. Normal mood is being relaxed, content, concentrating, in control of your thoughts, and with a clear mind consistently. You're right. I don't know anyone like that either. We all struggle with our moods at times. So how can you tell if you need help with your moods? First, you have to determine if your down mood is a normal down or a true depression. A normal down will improve with time or counseling, but depression usually needs medication from a doctor. It's very important to determine which mood you have. Here's an easy way to separate a normal down, which I call discouragement, from depression, which is a medical illness. Discouragement is usually triggered by negative life events and clears with time. It only affects part of your life. You may be down about work, but fine at home. You still feel connected to God and that life is worth living. Most importantly, a person who is discouraged is able to concentrate and control their thoughts. Defe depression is quite different. Depression usually lasts for years. Most of the people who come to see me have been down and gradually worsening for at least 20 years. A depressed person loses interest in most activities of life and feels hopeless. They will often feel abandoned or punished by God. But the most important symptoms are these. When a person is depressed, they can't shut their mind off from continuous negative thoughts and they can't concentrate. It's very important to determine which kind of down mood you may be experiencing. If you're just discouraged, then time and counseling may be just what you need. If you are depressed though, you should see a doctor. You can find lots more information about depression and discouragement in my book, Emotionally Free, and on my website, drgrantmullen.com. It's important for Christians to understand psychiatric disorders since they are the only medical illnesses, in my opinion, with spiritual symptoms. Let me show you why I feel this way. What are the four things Christians do to be devotional? Number one, we pray. Does prayer require concentration? It sure does. Would depression interfere with concentration and make it hard to pray? Definitely. Depressed people find it very hard to pray. Number two, we read the Bible. Does Bible reading require concentration? Of course it does. Would depression make it hard to read the Bible? Absolutely. Depressed people stop reading the Bible because it's too difficult. Number three, we worship. Does worship require concentration if you're doing it properly? Yes. And it also implies that we have something to celebrate. Depressed people can't worship since they can't concentrate and they don't feel like celebrating. Number four, we go to meetings with other Christians. Do depressed people like to attend meetings and socialize? Not at all. The most painful thing you can say to a de depressed person in a meeting is, hi, how are you? They don't want to be reminded how bad they feel. You can see that depression can wipe someone out spiritually. So the next time you see someone at church who's really struggling in these four activities, don't do this. Don't just assume they are backsliding into sin. They may be depressed and needing some encouragement rather than criticism. Don't tell them to just snap out of it. That's no different than telling a short person to go home and get taller. It's an illness outside of their control. If I've described you today, there's hope. Psalm 34 and 18 says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. God cares about you. If you are depressed or discouraged, talk to someone today. Remember, God wants you to be emotionally free. I'm Grant Mullen.